Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video on my channel. Hopefully you'll find it useful because it will explain to you how you can quickly and easily transform your entire level into black and white or into completely desaturated scene. Now that is something that is actually doable in a range of ways like anything in Unreal Engine but I'm going to showcase a method that is basically designed, in my view at least, for game designers, game makers, game creators and developers to see how their level could look in black and white. There's a bunch of reasons why you would do that because we know that using black and white has a range of benefits and advantages strictly narratively speaking so anything in black and white can be seen as a scene that happened in the past some kind of a flashback it can be seen as something that took place in the more distant past some games can even use the entire principle of going black and white example noir games or stuff like that which could use the concept of using black and white as your main viewport let's call it that i already made a video how on how you can create black and white materials but this will be a video about your camera settings that will turn your level into black and white to do that I here have my first person blueprint for the player it's the first person capsule or the first person character for my game which is called Meta Virgil I'm currently developing it and I'm going to edit the camera settings in that first person character so I have it selected. The same principle would apply for any other type of camera, third person, third person, third person, it doesn't make a difference. You're still going to edit the main camera. So with the selection of first person character, I'm going to click here, edit first person character, which will open up everything related to the first person character, including the camera. And here we have the same tab and on it, I'm going to actually go for the viewport and in the viewport I'm going to select the camera now from this camera the process of playing the game is actually perceived and if I can turn its settings into black and white then everything in my otherwise colorful level will turn black and white as well so I'm selecting a camera as you can see the selection is already made you can also select it from here and these are the camera details now the thing that I'm looking for is actually post-process, here it is, and under post-process I'm looking for color grading, and under color grading I'm looking for global, and you can see it here. There are several factors, uh, offset, gain, gamma, contrast, and the most important one, saturation. I'm going to open it up as well, and I'm going to select it and here you see all of my values are present in one i'm going to desaturate all of them in other words i'm going to place them at zero so here they are everything is moving now it's somewhere in the black range but i'm going to place it as well here and right now we have a completely desaturated camera perspective in the post-processing which is under post-processing, color grading, global settings and saturations. So I'm going to compile, I'm going to save this and I'm going to test out the game but you already seen the first person character camera, everything is black and white or more precisely said everything is desaturated. So all of these colorful elements that were here are now black and white, the same goes for the rest of my level, this emissive material, everything, everything has turned black and white. Should you use this in your game as the main method of turning your level black and white? Well, I'm actually not sure about it. I guess has some kind of issues that you'll probably see in the developed build. But for testing purposes, in my view, it's perfect because in just a few simple settings, you get your level black and white. And if you want to return it, all you have to do is return these values to one, again, to saturation. And you can even turn off saturation as it is. Compile, save, and we're back in the level. Everything is super colorful. Everything is back to normal. 
So if you want to test it out, if you want to see how your level or some parts of your level look in black and white, you can beat this option. Simple settings for the camera, turn the same camera into a black and white, completely desaturated perspective. So there you have it, hopefully you found this video useful, thank you so much for checking it out. If you did find it useful, please consider subscribing. There is even my Patreon page that helps me make these videos. The link is in the description below. You can check that out as well. And leave a like. If you have questions, please leave a comment. There is a bunch of other ways how you can support me as well. I'm selling books on Amazon. You can send me crypto and whatnot. But of course, the simplest, easiest and most effective and cheapest way is to simply subscribe to my channel and check out my future videos on Unreal Engine. I basically make beginner stuff beginning explanation like this video there are other videos as well and i make one each wednesday so on wednesday you get a new tutorial and hopefully it helps you in learning and figuring out this amazing tool which is unreal engine that's all for this video my name is ivica thank you so much for being here and watching till the very end have a great day and have loads of fun in your unreal engine levels until my next video bye bye